All right, welcome everybody. This is my first installment on one of my reviews here on my YouTube channel. Um, this channel, like I said in my preview video, will be mostly for product review, um, firearms review, um, accessories, things of that nature. Maybe some some fun day in the life of me um, out in the range or hanging out with some buddies shooting some guns. So, but back to uh, what this video is about. Um, it is about belly bands. So what we're going to talk about today are various belly bands to see how they fit, um, see how comfortable they are, and to see if they work for us all the way around. So um, I have five different belly bands here. Um, I'm one of those guys that um, actually wear a lot of sweats. I'm a personal trainer um, and I also do a lot of different activities on the weekends. So I'm always in a lot of athletic gear, things that um, things that don't have belts, um, belt buckles, some, something that can't really take a side holster or appendix holster. So a belly band is something that I would use quite often. Um, and what I have here is I have um, one from Clip and Carry, the Clip and Carry belly band called, I guess the model is called Strat. Um, we have a LPV products belly band holster. Um, then we have a most contact belly band holster, comfort tact belly band holster, and then I guess this is pronounced Amogo, Amogo, something of that nature. So all these belly bands that I bought, these are all bought off of Amazon. So these are basically budget belly bands. Um, that you can purchase on Amazon that range anywhere from uh, about $20 to $40, roughly for uh, these belly bands here. But we're going to go ahead and try them out, see which one works the best for me. Uh, give you some, like I said, some reviews on what is comfortable, um, if they're easy to draw from, if they have a nice trigger guard, um, and kind of go from there. All right, so look what we got. All right, so. Um, back to the belly band. So as far as the carry that I carry, it is the Smith & Wesson 9mm Shield 2.0 M&P. So let's make sure there's nothing in there. Nothing in there. We won't need the mag for this. So let's go ahead and start with the Amago. So let's check this out. So this one has, of course, this has the gun holster area with the uh, strap. It's kind of kind of hard to pull off there, which is, I guess, could be a good thing. Then it has two areas here for mags. So that is good if you want to carry it around. Some extra mags when you're carrying your belly or having your uh, when you're wearing your belly band there. All right. So I myself, when I wear belly bands, um, I try to get them about here around my belly button area, kind of where I pull them there. And then usually when I have a belly band, it depends on what I'm doing. If I'm riding or if I'm in my car a lot, I'll probably have it on, um, I probably have it more towards my appendix area, honestly. Um, but I do usually carry here on my hip. So let's just see what we got here. All right, well, looks like it fits pretty good. I'll get a little closer here to the camera so you can see it here. All right, so this band here does have a nice little snap and it actually is pretty comfortable. Um, I don't have any problems with this belly band. I mean, it feels really, really good. Got the extra bags here, so you wanna put your mags here on your back and pull those out. Let's go ahead and just put one in there. Okay, so that works out pretty good there. And then you got your gun here. So let's see how. So I guess if you have to draw pretty quickly there, this would be a good band to have. 
even got a little spot here for credit cards or a cell phone. Actually, I'll put my cell phone in here. Yep, so, so you got your cell phone, you got your, your firearm, and you got a bag. So, so far, this seems to be a good, uh, good belly band. Only downside is that the cover, the trigger guard is it's kind of soft, so it's kind of above where the trigger's at. Trigger's more in this area. So, it's not the best as far as a trigger guard, but it does, you know, do the purpose do the job for me so so this is the Amago belly band next up is the most compact belly band This one has little holes there. If you can see that in the camera, I'm sure that's course to let the, the hot air from your back escape your body. Just see if you're out there running on a trail or walk around with this thing all day. This one also has two mag holders right close to the gun. So this is gonna be right next to your gun. And it also has a credit card, cell phone holder here, even a little pouch here with a, sorry, I'm not sure you saw it on the camera there, but sorry, there is two pouches here, two uh, spots here for your mag, your gun holster, your credit card holder, and then a nice little pouch to put some more items. Let's see how this one feels. This one is quite longer. I'm not sure if I got the right, the wrong size or it's just kind of how it's made. Let's see how this one fits here. This one has two different buttons, uh, of course, for a longer gun or a shorter barrel gun. I'm gonna use the top one for my Smith & Wesson. And then here's your mag holders here. And then See if your cell phone will fit there. Oh, it's like your cell phone will fit there, but maybe a credit card or some cash. This looks like this will be the, oh, turn my light on there. <laughs> it's like this will be the area to actually put your cell phone. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, well, I guess so. Yep, so I like this belly band. So I like it because it has an extra pouch right here. Um, the other one from Amago doesn't have that. It has the two uh, mag, or actually the, yeah, the two mag spots, the credit card area, cell phone slash credit card area, and also area to put your gun. Uh, this one does have a longer, larger um, trigger guard, but it's right in front of my trigger on this particular gun. So all these belly bands are universal, so they're not really specific, specifically made for the type of gun that you have, but they will fit most applications. So, this is a nice, uh, a nice belly band. So I give this one a higher rating. I'm not giving like a one to 10, but I give this one a higher rating than the Imago because of this right here. I mean, this is awesome to have a little area to put your cell phone. Yep, so let's go on to the next one. So this next belly band we're looking at, this is the LPV Products Belly Band Holster, Next Generation Holster. And just taking a look at this before I get it on, this does have a nice pouch there for your firearm. It does have bigger holes in the back to keep you cooler so you're not sweating on the back side of this. And it does have a, um, a spot here for your mag, for an extra mag. So let's see how this bad boy fits. I might have it on backwards, or this is, oh, this one's a little different from my last ones. Oh, this one actually is um, 
quite quite bigger than my last one i don't think i ordered the wrong size but maybe it's just like that to uh feel more secure which i'm guessing because the uh the holes are here on the back a little bruise here which i didn't show in the last holster but there are holes here i could feel the air flow through it already so it looks like i got the left uh, looks like it's a right hand draw but it's from this side so this one's a little different so this one is a draw from your left side but with your right hand which i usually don't draw that way so that is different for me and then this little uh mag pouch can be velcro to looks like any area of the band that you would want so i'll just put it like right here for now it's got some velcro on it so like i said i've never really carried on this side so this one would you would it would take more course to get to your firearm but it does have a well actually does not have a trigger guard so it just has a nice little fit there's no extra pouches that i see uh, mostly just it's just a belly band that's fits very very good it's a lot thicker than the other ones so this will help keep uh, everything nice and tight when you're wearing it and it is a nice easy draw like most of these other bands one thing i worry about is it's more of a magnetized clip or a, of a button instead of an actual just button itself but it does have two two different buttons here two different um magnets for different gun lengths so who knows after time that could probably wear out possibly but overall not a not a bad band and again this one is the lpv products all right next we're going to review and look at the carry clip now this one actually works better with your own particular clip or clip holster <laughs> so let me go get my other holster my appendix holster and then um we'll see how this works with us all right let's get this bad boy on here I'm not used to these smaller straps. The belly band that I have personally is about as thick as the first two that we've seen. So this one is a little different. Okay. Side clip here, and then it looks like you can actually place the gun here in the front. So this one you can actually use your own holster if you use an appendix i'm assuming a side holster or you want to use you don't have to worry about too much going on here so this is a good holster to use here so this one isn't bad uh, it doesn't have any areas for any extra um mag or like a cell phone like the other ones and it only has the strap here so i guess it depends if you don't like the big strap, you just want a small one. This would be a, a good one to use. And like I said, you can also use your standard um, holster that you have. But this would be more of a appendix or you know, right in front of your groin area type holster or belly band. Again, that was the see which one was that that is the clip and carry so clip and carry that's what we got here last but not least we have the comfort tact belly band And this one, this one does have the area for a cell phone or credit cards. And it does have your pouch there, your holster for your handgun and extra Velcro type mag, uh, mag carrier. So let's check this one out. See how comfortable it feels. All right, so 
this a little shorter. All right. This one here on the side. Nice. Put my cell phone in here. Alright, so this one does have a trigger guard on it. Um, it's a lot better than the other ones. The other ones, so this one doesn't have to worry about a trigger guard because it uses your, your normal holster, but this one did not have a trigger guard on it. This one actually does. So this actually covers up the whole trigger guard so you can't accidentally hit that trigger. So this one actually is nice. Feels pretty good also. So yeah, it's a nice uh nice little snap there. So again, this one's the comfort attack with one of these bigger belly bands. It fits pretty good. So I'm going to go get a normal t-shirt, put these on so you can see if there's any type of um, big imprint in your shirt. But as most people know, when you have any type of firearm, depends on your shirt if you have an imprint. So we'll just go throw a shirt on and see what it looks like with that. In case you can't see that this is the LPV products. The first one was first one was the Imago. So of course depending on what type of shirt, this is a thinner active type shirt, so kind of see them print, but not bad at all. This is the clip and carry if you can't see that. But again, this would be using your normal, whatever holster you have, if you'd like to use. Of course, there's a little bit of it, more of an imprint because it's at your belly, but it just depends, I guess, on your physique. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that review of these belly bands here. Uh, once again, I'll give you a little overview of the ones that we had here. So we had the Comfort Tac, the Clip and Carry, LPV Products, Amago, Most Calm Tac. If I was to choose one, I would say maybe two, it would probably be the Most Calm Tac and probably the Amago. Maybe the Comfort Tac might be in there. But the LPV, just too big, no trigger guard. And the Clip and Carry is a cool design, but I don't like the back strap. It's nice that you can use your own holster, but just not a real big fan of that. So until next time, like, subscribe, and see you in the next video.